Hey, good morning, everybody, and a very happy Friday to you. I hope you are getting off on the good foot on this Friday. It's not going to be a good looking day. It's going to be one heck of a weather weekend, that's for sure. So the majority of our Friday, that's the pre-front. We're going to start to pick up those strong, gusty winds coming in from the southwest. Hopefully that doesn't cause additional fire weather concern. And then by tomorrow morning, we'll really start to see that heavy rain pick up. And then eventually some thunderstorms and some rain-snow mix across the higher elevations. That rain-snow line is going to start off at about 11,000 feet and then gradually dip to about 9,000. So elevations above 9,000 are at risk for anywhere from about 1 to 6 inches. And then Saturday, we're going to get that... I just said Saturday. And then Sunday, we will gradually be seeing that rain clear on out of here. So let's get started before my brain completely malfunctions. Okay, so today we are going to be under that severe weather risk, marginal. So we're talking short-lived, limited intensity, but that is all across the Wasatch Front, the Wasatch Back. We're talking most east-central Utah, eastern Utah, northeast corner, southwest corner of Wyoming, southern Idaho. We're there for the northwest corner of the state as well. So that entire area, more than half of the state, will be at risk. And normally when we are under a level one risk, especially Especially with a front this significant, it is pretty warm, and then we're going to get blasted with that cooler air, gusty winds. I would suspect that at least a few of those cells will turn severe today and possibly tomorrow as well. Because these winds are going to be so strong, a wind advisory has gone into effect that's going to stay in effect for Juab, Millard, Beaver, and portions of central and western Ink. Iron County, that's once again going to be staying until 8 p.m. this evening. Winds, south winds, 20 to 30 miles per hour, and then gusts over 50 miles per hour. Okay. So we can see where that low is centered kind of over Nevada at this point. And then that low is going to gradually track eastward by early tomorrow morning, really setting in. It's not going to be a good looking day. Very rainy and chilly. Depending on your area, about 10 to 20 degrees below where we're going to make it to today. And then slight chance for some showers Sunday afternoon, but those look like primarily higher terrain pockets. The majority of that rain will be out of here by Saturday night. So I'll show you how strong these winds are going to get, especially across that southwest corner. Afternoon, we're talking, mainly after 12 p.m., we're talking winds 40, 50 miles per hour. In the event of a severe thunderstorm, they can definitely be stronger. But the good news is the area that we're going to be seeing the stronger winds, we're not going to be dealing with rain. So that low is going to be to the north of southern Utah and just bringing in widespread showers there. But the south will get rain. We'll get wind. Here's this evening. So we'll really start to see those showers set in mainly after about 7 p.m. So if you have plans to go out tonight, maybe not a bad idea to pack that rain jacket just in case. And then heavy rain really setting in tomorrow. Definitely a good day to sleep in, that's for sure. And then some snow will kick in tomorrow morning. Once again, the majority of that snowfall will happen across the high Uintas. So 
elevations above 11,000, maybe three to six inches, below that one to three. Rain, the snow line is 9,000. So above 9,000, that's where we're talking. Saturday afternoon, very hectic, very busy, rainy, cold, a little bit breezy. I'll show you what the rainfall total looks like. These numbers are 100% amplified. This is not, I mean, there's some areas that could be getting this much, but we have, this model is blowing things up over two inches for the city. I don't think that's possible. I don't, it's possible. Anything's possible. I don't think it's likely. I think a half to an inch, maybe a little bit over for some, 1.25. I think two inches is very dramatic. Yeah, for the city, I think that's pretty dramatic. Here's a look at snow. So the high you enters, areas across the Wasatch back, potentially three to six. So, and then you have this stretching all along central Utah, east of 15, point of the mountain, one to three there, maybe closer to one throughout central Utah. Temperatures this weekend? Mostly sunny. And the only real significant thing is a little bit on the cooler side, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, low to mid 80s. Low 80s for your Friday, and then we're going to dip down upper 50s, low 60s, Saturday, Sunday. Mostly sunny well into early next week. Daytime time, slow to mid 70s. So we will gradually rebound. It's just going to be a pretty chilly weekend, that's for sure. All right, everybody. I'm going to go get ready for the show. I hope you are having a great Friday. Um, stay safe out there. Make sure you're watching us all weekend long. And um, we'll keep you updated best we can. All right, everybody. Be safe.